Hello friends, welcome to another C++ interview question and this question is what is structural pairing and packing in C and C++? Actually this is going to be a really very interesting topic okay because I have created lots of document here just to make you a little more comfortable okay so first of all what is padding and packing okay so padding is like you will be adding some extra bit to some size and packing is like you don't want to do the padding so you will be doing packing okay instead of adding extra bit you won't add any extra bit to the size of your class or structure and all that okay so first of all just answer me what would be the size of this base let's suppose you have created this base just forget about all the functions and all just this is your base class and let's suppose you have these four data members like character character integer character so one byte one byte four byte and one byte so total seven bytes are there so if you will print this size of base it should print seven right so let's go and check that so if you will compile this code and run this code oh my god what it is printing it is printing 12 okay whether it should print seven but it is printing 12 and let's suppose i'm just copying and pasting this from here to here and you will just recompile this again and you will run this so this time it is giving you 8 so why it is changing like this like why your base size is changing this time also it didn't give you the correct output but it is taking a little less size so what is this all about why your base is not 7 as you expected so just to assure you that it is actually 7 we have to write something like this and we will compile it and we will run it we will see 7 okay so for this moment i will just com comment this so that we can just understand why this is happening okay so what you did you just did the packing here okay you tell to the compiler don't do any padding here so you just did packing okay so why it is working like this just take an example here let's suppose this is your base okay it is having one character another character and integer so it will be setting bytes like this the memory layout will look like this this is one byte okay a is one byte so it occupied one byte so the zeroth position is occupied b is also one byte so it occupied another place after that two empty space is left and after that it is assigning this p oh my god i should have written this i here so okay so this i is nothing but integer so it will take obviously 4 bytes so that's why it is occupying 4 bytes here but why it is having this 2 extra bits sorry bytes empty here why it is working like that and if you will see second case here let's suppose you are having one character here and teacher i here and then character b here then what you will do what i mean what this compiler will do compiler will assign first byte here after that it will keep 4 empty bytes uh, and then after that it will assign this i oh my god so instead of changing this i will just simply change this okay this p so as you can see this p is occupying four bytes as it is integer and after that b is coming okay and again this three byte is empty so if you will print the size of this base it will tell you 0 to 11 12 bytes okay so this is how it works but why it is working like this actually the point is when you run your program it gets divided into pages and uh, it is stored in your hard disk and uh, when you are double clicking something like uh, you are running your vlc player you are running your any browser or something it will load into the ram so when it is getting loaded into the ram it is called segment okay so when so just okay uh, i will show you one process diagram here i have kept it ready for you so let's suppose you double click so you created a process so that process will first come into the waiting queue after that it will go into the running queue so it is running here okay and when it is requiring any io operation it will get blocked here after that when that io operation is triggered or that device is ready you will get one interrupt and you will again start waiting and you will again go to the running state so this is how this operating system actually works okay there are lots of things but this is the actual thing okay and let's suppose your processor is of 32 bit so have you ever Im imagined that why it is called 32 bit and 64 bit it's just because 32 bit processor means it can process 32 bits all together at once at one clock cycle like if you are giving one clock to the system it can process 32 bits 
and that another 64 bit means you can it can process 64 bit altogether if you will give one clock to that okay so that is the reason so in that case when it is going to process four bytes the computer researchers found that if you will keep your data like this like seven if you will keep your data like this it might be looking something like i will just copy and paste this situation here and uh, I'll just simply remove this too. Okay, so in our way thinking, it should look like this. But what your processor read? It read four bytes all together. So processor will take first four bytes. Okay, and it will read. So when this four byte has gone to the processor, it can read A and B without any problem. But let's suppose you want to read I. Okay, which is this I? This these four. So in that situation, processor has to read this one, this portion to get these two bytes of i and after that, processor has to read this two. Okay. So that's why there are two read. Okay. To the memory. So that's why it is a big penalty. So just to remove that penalty, we pad the extra bytes. Okay. So now let's see if this is the situation here and you want to access a or b or something these first four bytes will go to the processor processor will read a and b without any problem just need a shifting here okay and if suppose processor want to read i processor will read another segment or page okay so we divide whole memory into segments okay so if it is stored at hard disk it is called pages if it is brought to the memory it is called segments okay so that is the only difference and we do paging concept and that paging help you to map pages to the segment okay because your processor always generate logical address not the physical address okay it doesn't know about your ram it asks the logical address okay so this is how it works i mean if you are not good in operating system you might find it little difficult to understand but in just simple way you need to understand one thing processor will read 4 byte okay if it is 32 bit just remember that if it is 32 bit it will read 4 4 byte okay and you cannot tell like why it is not reading from here okay no this when the pages were created it was created like this first these 4 byte went to one page okay or one word size that is also a proper terminology and another four bytes let's suppose here it will do the padding actually okay then another will go to another page okay or another word i think i should use the word here so this is one word and this one is another word so you cannot say why it is not reading from here no processor doesn't have that advantage but nowadays processor does have that advantage nowadays scientists and uh, processor creators are telling that there is no penalty even if you don't pad any extra byte but i'm not that sure about that but i have read that article somewhere so i'm just telling you that okay just keep that in your mind and there is a rule let's understand the rule okay so how data gets memory slot this is the rule for that one byte can go and can be stored at multiple of one memory slot so what do i mean by that so let's suppose there is a multi uh, there is a memory slot it starts from 0 and 1 and 2 and 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay so this one can go anywhere because one is the multiple of all so one can go anywhere but two can go at multiple of two only so it can go at zeroth location at location at four location at sixth location two cannot go at first location okay so that is the memory mapping work okay if the size of your data type is two byte it will never go to first byte position that is how the memory optimization and all these algorithm and all those stuff work internally so if it is four byte it will go multiple of four like it can go to zeroth location so if it is going at zeroth location that means it is occupying from zero to three so that's why it is requiring multiple of four okay from zero to three and then if it is already occupied like uh, from 0 to 3 suppose uh, this uh, 1 was already occupied then it will never take 1 2 3 no it will search for 4 so 4 but still it should get consecutive 4 empty space 
to get into this slot okay so this is how things work and in case of 8 byte it will always check consecutive 8 empty bytes but that should be multiple of 8 like it should be starting from 0th position or from the 8th position it will never go to either of 1 to 7 okay so this is how things work so am i left with something one word is 4 byte in 32 bit processor and one word is 8 byte in 64 bit processor so that i already explained you word is nothing but pages and uh, i can explain you or or just leave it uh, no need to go into that deep because otherwise i will become operating system teacher here for now you just understand this much only that padding gives boost to your program like it will get readed by 4 byte 4 byte 4 byte if it is 32 bit processor okay so first 4 to 4 byte will go like this and yeah one more thing i wanted to tell you if it is like this then zeroth byte will get a here first byte will get b here third byte will sorry second byte will get c here and another time that third byte will get padding okay so here you will get one padding and after that this integer is going to get four byte so it will be like total eight byte so that we can just simply check here by compiling okay we will compile this oh what am i missing in here undefined mm, constant what is this am i doing something okay i will just remove this we will go up i will compile check yeah eight why it is eight i already told this is first byte second byte third byte fourth byte is padded and now this is starting from the fifth i mean the fourth byte because the indexing start from the zero okay so it will look something like this a is at zero position b is at first position is at second position and there is one padding and then third is coming third is padded okay and then i is at four five six and seven okay so i i i so this is like this but let's suppose if you will remove these two like b and c then how it will be it is not going to look like this okay it is not going to look like this it is going to look like this why because it pads multiple of the maximum available data type here okay so i will just give you the example here i will just simply remove this and what do you think what it should be like before it was having b and c here like b and c so if you will remove this b and c from this place then it won't be looking like this why because i will just simply compile oh my god i always mess up things and then we'll just simply compile check eight again even if you remove b and c it is not changing it is again it was eight and it is again eight okay so what is this why it is not changing the reason is that only what i told you there like uh, this is a four byte data type this is a one byte data type so this one byte data type already occupied the zeroth place now this four byte data type will look for four consecutive byte so it will start looking from here but it will not get so as it is four byte data type it will get stored multiple at four okay so that's why it is starting from 4 here that's why it is having this size 8 so let's suppose if you are using some short or something like uh, s h o r t sort in that case what should happen like sort is of 2 byte okay so in that situation it would be like this only 4 because sort is 2 so what did i said if it is 2 here then it will look for the multiple of 2 so what what do you mean by multiple of 2 here multiple of 2 is 0 position 0 is already occupied by a 1 is not the multiple of 2 so this 2 is the multiple of 2 and 2 and 3 was empty so it will occupy that size so the size would be these 4 bytes so that we can see here i will just simply compile no before that <laughs> i always forget this one i will just simply compile fast 4 okay now i think i made my point guys oh is there anything left i don't remember yeah and even if you are interested to remove this one okay remove this extra pairing you are just going to use this pragma pack here 
Uh, okay, compile and check. See, now you are having three. So one and three. You are saving so much of memory, but it might give you a big penalty. Okay, but researchers claim that now there is no need of doing that extra pairing, but still you should know this concept to answer to your interviewer. That's why I'm explaining this. Okay, so I think I'm done here. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.